So once again I find myself repairing my power jack 300 watt grid tie inverter. Um, so I'll just go through some of the modifications I've made. The repair incidentally is this inductor here which unfortunately I caught with a big half inch drill and chewed up the old one. So I've had to put a new one on and of course that's meant cutting away all the this sort of um, hot glue. So that's taken quite a while. Anyway, the mods I've made are this large fuse here, which I've put in the live line, and I've also now added this other fuse holder, this one, uh, into which I'm going to put a 500 milliamp fuse, which obviously limits the power of this thing, but I, I don't take it too high a power anyway. That's in the neutral line, and of course the neutral line also has that little 5 amp fuse down there, the little circular one there. So this thing's got three fuses now. And um, now the other thing that's changed is that they changed all these diodes. These are RHRP860, and the new ones they've sent me are RHRP8120. And I think they've gone from 600 volts up to uh, 1,200 volts, I think that's it. And the MOSFETs, these four here, these are the high voltage MOSFETs, they've changed as well. And they've gone from 18N50 to 14N60, which are these ones over here. So um, that's gone from, what is it? 18 amps, uh, 500 volts, and 14N60 means 14 amps, 600 volts. So they, they've upped the volts of the MOSFETs. So we'll see whether um, this has any improvement. I've got my little half amp fuse here. That'll, that should blow first, hopefully, rather than MOSFET Q10, which I've had to replace several times. You can probably see the disturbance to the PCB there as a result. Let's see what happens.